so far whatever videos i have shared in this channel are considering panup controller today we are going to discuss programming on siemens controller you will be able to use iso code on most of the controllers you will be able to see only few differences like that in defining radius rounding variables etc all other things will be similar for a better understanding of the concepts being discussed here i strongly recommend you to see other videos on the subject you can get a basic understanding of defining the coordinates radius usage of various codes etc from those videos today we are going to discuss a siemens program now the program is displayed in sinu train software the first line work page that is for the blank definition which will help you in doing the simulation next line is g0 g54 g64 g0 is rapid traverse g54 is the work coordinate system and g64 is continuous mode tool command in siemens can be done like this you can have a name for the tool unlike panuk you can also define the tool as a number t1 like that and then m6 is for tool change s equals 2000 2000 rpm m03 clockwise rotation G90 absolute coordinate system X minus 20 Y40 Z50 initial position Z5 to call to Z5 which is nearby the path path top surface is the zero so pi m m above path surface then tool is again position Z minus five so you can not the tool diameter is 20 dia so the cut is 5 m depth of cut so the tool is positioned at z minus 5 with feed rate f 1000 msg command it's a message command so whatever you write within double quotes in this case symbol rectangle will be displayed when the program is running g41 x0 then tool is position to the start of the cut with tool compensation left y80 x100 y0 x0 then y40 g0 g40 x minus 20 so after the profile is finished cutter radius is radius compensation is cancel with g40 and move to x minus 20 so this x minus 20 is very important because if this movement is not enough to cover the tool radius then your tool may dig into the work piece then m0 m0 is program stop unconditional so the moment m00 is commanded the program will stop unconditionally now we will see the simulation for this program we'll see in single block so that you will understand it better cycle start so you can see the m6 command tool is changed the initial position x minus 20 y40 z50 here you can see the running command so this is what it has moved stage position next is z5 then z minus 5 g41 x0 so the tool is positioned with compensation
next is y80 here also you can see the program copy of the program y80 straight here you can see a small moment which is introduced by the controller you have not programmed it and you will not find that radius actually in your simulation a line will show a small rounding actually it will only remove the bar the actual part will have sharp corner whatever you have defined so x100 y0 x0 y40 g40 x minus 20 Now the same thing we can see with single block off. If I can start, okay. You will again see that in three D. Now we will see the other portion of the program. Now whatever rectangle we have made, now we need to introduce corner rounding or maybe fillet we can call it. So program is starting with message which will be displayed when the simulation is running or the actual program is running. Dude is already at y40 x minus 20. Then dude is positioned to the workpiece g41 x0. y80. So, this is what uh, we have done earlier for making a simple rectangle. Now, what you need to do is just add R and D equals 10, which will introduce the 10 mm radius on the intersection point. This is very important. This point, what you need to define is the intersection point. So, this radius will be inserted to that intersection point. Now, next again x100 r and d equals 10 y 10 so just for understanding we can also see the other method using g02 so this what you need to note down is this r and d command works with g01 command tool is positioned at x100 y10 then radius command g02 x90 y0 cr equal to 10 in fanuc we have learned for making a radius you need to give r r10 so instead of that in siemens it is cr equal 10 then again a linear movement so you need to change your g code to g01 x 10 again circular code g 0 2 x 0 y 10 c r equals 10 g 0 1 y 40 g 0 g 40 x minus 20 the symbol rectangle 
is already there in the simulation for us to understand how the rnd command and cr command works you can see simple rectangle the msg command which was there earlier it is active now in single block we will see the further uh, thing program you can see here c4180 and uh, msg command rnd and radius command that you can see here it is getting displayed y80 rnd equals 10 and to not it is intersection point the semicolon will distinguish a, co uh, a comment so anything which you write after the semicolon this one will be read as a comment so whatever remarks you want to put you can put like this so rnd command is 10 x100 rnd 10 so rounding is automatically calculated y10 so here the tool is positioned g02 x90 y0 cr equal to 10 so radius endpoints and the radius value g01 x10 again radius g02 endpoint of the arc x0 y10 and the radius value c are equal to 10 g01 y40 g40 x minus 20 and up i hope you enjoyed this video if you have liked it press like subscribe the channel for more such videos click the bell icon for getting notified on new videos I will come with more videos like this. Bye for now.